I'm talking about health, and health is very close uh, topic to everyone's life. No matter you are el you are elderly, or no one's elderly people here. Everyone's very young, energetic, but no matter where you're young people and the middle age, and everyone's looking for a better life and better healthcare quality in the social. So now we are facing some challenges. We have, we have increasing aging population, so we need more social care workers, second care workers, and also doctors to support the well-being. And also the high demand of high quality of health being to have put a lot of burden of care providers. And on the other hand, we have tight budget for the health care services. And also we have very limited health care resources, not only in China, because my research will be in the digital health in China, but this same situation is in UK and also in China. So uh, according to the limited health care resources. So the challenge for the health care so we are looking at the most important thing is healthcare quality. So because we have limited resources, and sometimes we may have the more medication errors. So according to a statistic from the US, they are looking at the top five reasons for mortality. So can you, can you guess what's the top five reasons for mortality? Don't tell me alcohol. <laughs> so it could be one of cancer and also stroke. But also, the one, well, one of very surprisingly the result is that medication errors. And also according to the statistic, uh, out of all the medication errors, there are up to 50% of medication errors are preventable. If you have better use of information, all of the 50% uh, of the medical error can be prevented. Then we come to my area, informatics. Because my area is informatics and how to use informatics to improve the care quality. So a lot of information silos exist within the hospital and also across the hospital. I used to work in, um, about many years ago in, in a Chinese hospital, one of the major hospitals in China. And we're seeing a lot of system within the hospital, as there are almost 80 subsystems in the hospital. And the thing is, is that they don't talk to each other. So, and the CEOs of the hospital keep investing new systems because there is new technology coming up. And they keep on more and more systems. And in the end, there are hundreds of systems, but they still don't talk to each other. They're building up more information silos between different departments within the hospital. And also outside the hospital, we have social care, secondary care, primary care. But the thing is, they talk to each other, but the information doesn't flow very well, very efficiently. So the difficulty in getting the right information at the right time for the right person is really a challenge to, for, for the better healthcare in the, uh, in the world. So now we have facing some uh, complaints from the patients. They, they have a long waiting time, and they have to do a duplicate test and they have to do a duplicate therapy. And sometimes it will cause more like inaccurate medication, it will cause adverse event. So if we can better use information to give the right information at the right time, then that would be help a lot. So then we come to the concept of digital health. So are you familiar with the concept of digital health? When, we when I talk about digital health, what's the first thing in your mind? Sit there. Sit there. <laughs> Yeah, a digital health, the, the concept has been existed for some time. But when we talk about digital health, it's not just sitting there and get your vital signs monitored at home. It's part of digital health, but it's not all of them. And also, if you go to some, uh, ask some uh, CEO in the hospitals, he might think, oh, digital health is just to invest more money in the, in the system and then don't care about pro processes. But digital health, is not, I would say, is not just technology. I would say it's digital health, it's a philosophy. It's a change of mindset, a change of way to look at the healthcare processes and the healthcare management architecture. So in my research, I'm looking to, into a more deep uh, philosophy and architecture to look at how to change the healthcare in using technology. So in this research, we are looking at the inter internal digitalization of the key processes in the healthcare. 
So we look at the medical processes, uh, treatment processes, and also admission processes, and so discharging processes. We are incorporating all the process knowledges and also the KPIs into our design of a system integration platform. So in that way, I've been talking about aligning business and IT. So whenever you design an integration platform, you want, whenever you want to integrate sharing information, you always need to think about how the information can fill the business problem, can fill the gap between the stakeholders, can also can fill the, uh, the uh, to improve the KPI in your organization. So the philosophy of a digital house in our research is to fully weave the ICT technologies into the fabric. Because I want to use the uh, metaphor of a fabric because the healthcare is a very complicated process. You have a lot of the uh, care providers, they come into a network, and also they, uh, the processes are interwined with each other. So the philosophy is to fully align the business and IT. Um, although I have summarized the work in one or two sentences to fully align the business and IT in the healthcare, however, this digital health is about, it's about a project about <coughs> eight years. And this eight-year project, quite interestingly to see, is that it reflects the journey of China to the, develop, uh, the digital healthcare journey in China, the development journey. So from the 2008, so we start to work on electronic patient record. So this is the first generation about uh, thinking about digital health. So trying to connect different uh, systems together. So I still remember the uh, the hospital I've been working in with in the military hospital we call it, we call it military uh, medical number one. So it's the first generation of the, the uh, database of the electronic patient record. And from to 2010, we start to think about integration platform. In that platform, it, we integrate processes, knowledges, and also existing system together to make sure this is a, a integration uh, the, uh, to support the internal processes within the hospital. And from to the 2012, the concept of digital hospital has come up in healthcare in, in China. And if you go to the, one of the hospitals in China, you will see there is very minimized use of a paper. And if you oh. traditionally, like the doctor will put, uh, use a lot of paper and they take a lot of clinical notes, use paper. But in the digitalized hospital, we use a combination of the technologies, integration platform, Wireless, uh, wireless, com uh, wireless technology and also mobile devices. So you can get the real-time data and also you can do the prescription on a real-time that will be transmitted to the, the central database. So a lot of things you will see the people don't, you don't really care a lot of the papers. They do the mobile devices, do a lot of things in the mobile devices. So that is the first generation, I would say 1.0 of digital hospital in China. And with the development of the cloud computing and also mobile healthcare, so we are going to, to the uh, digital hospital 2.0, so which goes through that not only within the hospital, but also across the different hospital. And the outcome, you would say, does it really help? Does IT help? So I said it really helps a lot. So according to the statistics of the 200, uh, because we have implemented in 400 hospitals, and according to the uh, statistics of the 200 hospitals, the results show that as it has reduced about 90% of, of the information inquiry time, and also 50% of medical errors has been reduced. Uh, also reduced 50% waiting time and uh, the 85% of admission referral time. So that was significantly reduction of the waiting time and also cost. And from now on, so we are thinking about not only within the healthcare, we are thinking about cross industry integration, for example, with housing, with transportation. So, we, to get into the ecosystem about the, in the care and well being. So, but in the end, I want to conclude that the key to success of digitalization or technology is to fully align the business and IT, to fully really understand the business problem and to support the business processes. Okay, thank you very much.